It's a biggie, boys. Let's use it this way. Ooh. What is up, guys, and welcome to the Beyond Sanas channel. My name is Shanks, and today we are going to continue with the showcase of the Battle of the Third Age mod for BFME to the Rise of the Witch King. In our latest showcase, we took a look into the Gondor faction, and now I would like to take a look into an evil faction. And you can let me know, we can switch between good and evil. You can let me know which good faction we should be covering in the next video. So I'm gonna take a look into the Mordor. From Gondor all the way to the Mordor. And against a brutal AI. Okay? Because that's what we are doing here. We are playing against brutals. And also let me change my color to green. And let's get it started. On the famous and classical map Forts of Isen. Okay. I mean, this mod actually has like crazy shenanigans and also let lots of crazy stuff look. I mean, this is looking beautiful, by the way. What is the shortcut? Arr. Arr. Okay. So let's build some units. We have also a starting unit, just like in Beef Me 1. It's an orc warrior. He's looking dangerous on the picture. And the savage horde requires 50 or more orc warriors to deal passively more damage and have also more movement speed, which is pretty nice. Um, as for the heroes, we have the chance to recruit Krishnak. Hold on, I need to make more resource buildings. I would like to make like four before making anything else. We can recruit Gorbek, Shagrat, Gothmog, Mouth of Sauron, and of course, the Witch King himself. Hero class Tank. Army Killer, Army Sport. Army Focus, Mortal Basic, Advanced, Heavy, and Elite Units. Okay, I mean, we're gonna take a look all into all of that later on. But first of all, we need a bit more eco. Because we are now against a brutal AI, so I'm expecting the worst. The only thing I don't like about the AI of Rise of the Witch King is that they are kind of ignoring your army. They always go to your for your structures, which can be quite annoying to deal with, you know? Alright, it's time to build the Orc Pit. Our point wise, we have the chance to choose the Tinted Length for more armor and experience, the Eye of Sauron for more damage and experience, and the Orc Horn for more damage and speed. Let's choose the Orc Horn. We can actually pick them all up together, I think. Because they provide different stuff. I'm not sure if they are stacking or not. But we can find out later on. Okay. I mean, this basement floors, I like that, to be honest. It kind of fits the Mordor design. You see this magma around the castle. Looks pretty lit. The build time of the Orc Pit seems to take forever. <laughs> we can, in the meantime, build one more resource building. Let's do this. You know what to do. Okay. I mean, this mod actually is pretty fun. I think it's, you know, the mods most of the time are being made for the single player experience because they don't even have the house color. You can see there is like nothing green in this Orc Battalion, which makes it kind of messy in team games. Because eat each those Orcs. I'm going to build more resource buildings. I'm just too greedy, you know? Um. Okay. Gorgorov, Minas Morgul, Mordor. Faction leader, Mouth of Sauron, actually not Witch King, which is kind of interesting. Strength, good early game, basic infantry, strong in numbers, basic units, low cost, strong troll units, fear effects, weakness, mid, weak mid game, weak base, uh, basic units, no regular cavalry, magic, damage. Okay. Now they are glowing for whatever reason. If like, a, you know, you see this yellow FX, so basically like a smallish glow. I would like to build a tower. Here you can change the Palantir picture. Here, by the way. And then we can choose a battle tower. You cannot build wherever you want to. That's not possible. I'm gonna build one more here. Around 97... No, not, not, not 96. 96, sorry. <laughs> I can't even talk. Let's make more orcs, okay? We have also the orc horn. So we should be in a good spot. We can upgrade it to level 2. That will give us the chance to recruit the orc pikemen. And then later on, the Black Orc Warriors. What is this brand of the Red Eye? Hmm. Doesn't tell you what it is, but we can get it to level 2 now. Let's get it to level 2. It's gonna cost us 500, but I think it's okay. Towering up, and let's go for an attack. The Brutal AI... Oh, look at the Brutal AI. Oh my goodness. He's building a farm right in front of my face. That's pretty rude, my friend. That's pretty rude. I wanna build one more tower right here maybe in the middle i think that's the best spot we can build later on also one around the top side so we have like all the three pathways protected that's why i like to play on forts of eisen 
because you can kind of block these pathways with a couple of towers which can be quite nice when you, because in, in our case we are showcasing it's gonna be our first impression about this mod with this faction and i want to have time you know time to discover everything what i want okay can we garrison this we can I'm gonna build one more tower right here and then recruit some orc archers to put them inside the jeans okay we can also buy fire arrows for 500 and we can actually put two units inside the tower okay did he creep this already no come on orc archers i need you i mean what is the ai doing though oh there he is finally it used the orc horn. Look, they are zooming now. It gives you speed. 40% speed, actually, which is pretty, pretty effective. Can you please attack those units? It would be amazing. Okay. Need more orc archers. I'm going to put two here in the middle. Because I'm afraid that they will attack me from the middle most of the time. Let's go like this. Did we win this fight? Yeah, we won. I mean, in this game, and I can give me one... You have like more units in the battalion, that's why you need to clump. Clumping goes like this. You need to make sure that most of your units, if not all, attacking at the same time to maximize your damage output. That's very important. One of the most important mechanics you need to master when you play BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King. If you just randomly right click on a building or on a unit, you might not be able to deal damage. And you might be surprised. Let's put them inside the, inside the base. And we can build one more slaughterhouse before making transition. First of all, I would like to recruit heroes. And as for upgrades, we can get this one, which will give us this Doom Prize. Provides additional experience to nearby troops and reduce hero cost by 10%, which is pretty nice. Oh, this goes fast like crazy, my dude. Okay. Okay, I see you. Now, it costs, everyone costs less now. Let's go from the cheapest all the way to the most expensive one, okay? But first of all, we need a bit more eco, I believe. I'm still kind of feeling poor. Is it normal that I feel poor? I want to build also one more tower just to feel a bit more safe. Look this, you see this? Is this Boromir? Footman. Can I not... Hmm. It requires Gorgoroth upgrade and level 2 orc pit. Okay, we need another upgrade to actually get the chance to... Purchase or recruit those black orcs. We don't need to do this now. This tower is going to be good protected. And now we can build one more here behind. Maybe here 90... I mean the percentage gives you the information. How much money and value you will get. So when you build your resource buildings next to each other. They won't give you too much value. But if you are struggling command point wise. You can still build them. These are the orc pikemen. That's how they are looking like. I mean, like a blackish design. I'm not a big fan of this, to be honest with you. I like the basic design of BFME 1 more. This one, everybody's looking the same. I don't know, man. I, I'm not a big fan of this. In this pikeman, they have not even the chance to use the porcupine formation, which is also meh. Let's use the whole ground stance. I mean, also surprised about the brutal. He's not doing anything. Doesn't even attack us. Now it's time for the hero party. We will recruit uh, Krishnak and Gorbeck. And then later on, Chakrat. Gothmog, we have actually four orc heroes. It's pretty nice. Okay, kill the builder. Can we kill him? He's tanky boy. Yeah, we killed him. Doesn't even stand a chance. Doesn't even stand a chance. No, no, no. What is this? Dark statue. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna build the statue of the Mordor. I mean, it's pretty lit. It more or less the chance to build statue of Sauron, which will of course, uh, you know, make the mortal unit stronger. It also looks pretty nice, this building. Look at it, you know. The Dark Lord on his iron throne. Okay, it's time to recruit more heroes. Um, hold on, I want to recruit this one first. The list is kind of interesting too, because normally the list goes always from the most cheapest to the most expensive one, but not in this case. 7200 for the witch king oh <laughs> this is expensive okay
Okay, boys, this is Shagrat. Hold on. We are being attacked. Let's use the heroes to defend this. Man, uh, this is annoying. Really, this is annoying. Like, there is a tower. Why don't you take this one first, man? Come on now. Why are these units so tanky? Uh, because I have no units inside this tower. I'm gonna actually give it the fire arrows. And it should be fine. Okay, let's take a look into the hero. So this is the cheapest one. This is Krishnak. We remember him from the films. He was the one who was trying to kill Pippin and Mary. And I think he got slapped and kind of crushed, literally crushed, from Treebeard. Uh, Krishnak. Hero role, Armikilam. Personally, I mean, I need to give also credits because of the descriptions. It kind of gives you like a little bit of a sneak peek about what you can expect from this hero, which is pretty nice. It gives you the exact stats of the health, melee damage, and even class bonus. It gives you the strength and weaknesses of a hero. That's also pretty nice. You don't normally see this for hero characters, only for normal units. And yeah. So, Assassin is the hero class. He will be an army killer. High movement speed, fast attack speed, ability damage spells, and low armor and health. So, he's gonna be like a squishy assassin. Uh, level 1, the Captain of Lukwurz. Basic orc units in medium radius around Krishna gain more speed. Level 5, enemy infantry in small radius lose speed. Level 10, enemy units in small radius are inst instilled with fear each 20 seconds okay that's pretty nice actually like a skilling ability the more levels you have the better it is gonna be um hold on can we recruit any more anyone else in the meantime yep okay where is krishna okay so intimidator enemy infantry suffer five ability damage and lose 90 percent speed and are instilled with fear for five seconds with level two with level four inter Ogator. <laughs> okay enemy infantry suffer 10 ability damage and lose more armor then we have the tormentor dude this guy i think is like a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan obelisk the tormentor do you guys remember obelisk in Yu-Gi-Oh? enemy infantry suffer more damage and cannot gain experience so basically it's like a you know debuff 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 and then we have the last ability with level hmm doesn't krishna calls a nazgul for it the Nazgul glides over enemy units, making them to flee in terror. It doesn't tell you what the requirements are for the levels, okay? Then we have Gorbek, the hero we have also seen in the films. This one was actually the Shield of Slayer. I think he got kind of crushed by Samwise Gamgee. Kick knocks enemies on the ground. Cunningness. Again, a skilling ability. Uh, level 5, you get more poison damage. Level 7, you get more damage to heroes when flanking. Um, he misspelled the flanking. Level 10, more resistance to pierce and hero range damage. Look, they are ignoring everything and going straight for my resource buildings. This has to be the most tilting thing ever, dude. Legit. Can give fire arrows. Okay. I can now recruit this dude. And level 10, Gorbeck's company. Gorbeck summons a couple of his of a couple of his orcs armed with poison blades. The orcs are permanent, permanent. And can be added to company if summoned again again so we can basically you can summon it multiple times and you can actually have like a huge amount and you don't lose them before the next summon, summon is available here it would be nice to have like a cooldown too but it's okay chakrat he was more expensive compared to Govmog. so captain of the tower and black uruks and mordor orc warriors near chakrat gain more damage chakrat also earn resource per kill so basically like a pillage when near Gorbek, they gain double amount of resources. I mean, it's pretty complex, as you can see, right? Uh, let alone the descriptions are pretty detailed. They give you, like, lots of value and information. I just lost a builder, by the way. Uh. Okay. Can you kill them, please? They kind of pass through everything. Are these pikemen? I think they are pikemen. Okay. Now the AI is finally making a move. He didn't do anything for like a long time. Can you defend this, Mouth of Sauron? Look, he doesn't want to go, man. Come on now. Go, go, go. Is he ranged? He's ranged on his horse. Do you see this? I'm going to lose this level 2. That's going to hurt me. No, I'm not going to lose it. Okay. Nice. Okay, with level 10, Body Kit. Summons a defensive tower garrison with archers. The Lieutenant of Minas Morgul. Govmog can use his active abilities. We have the Govmog's work to get, uh, you know, mounted. 
The Day of the Orc for light leadership, basic heavy and advanced mortar infantry, okay. Um, with level 10, Morgul guards. So six Morgul pikemen patrol around Gothmog to attack nearby enemies in medium radius. And this is gonna be, uh, I think, the most interesting hero. Because he has even double Palantir, as you can see and tell. But first of all, let me get all the upgrades here, right? Let me do this. Okay, we can also recruit the Black Riders. Requires Minas Morgul upgrade. Passage of the Dark Lord. What is this one? Um, no, no. Where can I get this though? It's the big question. Maybe from the statue? No. Hold on. Uh, this is so complex, dude. It's unbelievable. I can't even build this. This, again, requires another upgrade, the Minas Morgul upgrade. Enables Orc Armament. This is not this. Hmm. Oh my, he killed my builder. Oh boy, it's so annoying. Okay, I'm, I want to fight this a little bit now. You can, you know, I, I want to get dismounted with him, if I can. Oh, this was not a dismount. Okay, what is this? Of a sudden, nearby allies gain invulnerability for 15 seconds, but cannot. So you get like immune to damage, but you lose the ability to attack. Is it possible to get this guy dismounted? What's happening here, man? Some crazy shenanigans. Again, going for the slaughterhouse always. So tricky. Outpost. Um, fortress. We don't need this. I don't know what we need to build to get it, dude. Maybe we need power points. Get Ungold to the Okay, I think we need this one. It's a power point. Okay, that's what it is. All right, now it makes way more sense. Let's go, boys. Let's attack. Let's not lose anybody, if we can. It would be nice to get them all to level 10. And remember, there, is, there has to also be a golem hiding somewhere on the map. And when we can find him, we can also have the one ring, which is going to be amazing. And we have almost the power points for the ability. I think before this, we can also recruit the witch king. Yeah, go for, let's go for the witch king, the last hero. Let's creep this. Our heroes are hitting like a truck, by the way. Very, very strong. We can get mounted too if you want to. Let's get the money. Oh, look. Oh, hold on a second. This is pretty rewarding. What I want to do... I like the ability from Mouth of Sauron. He's like a ranged... And you can see this red circle when he's attacking enemy units. Of Mog, don't die! Rest in peace, my friend. And I also lost this dude over here. Not the best. Can you trample them still? I want to check this. Yeah, you can. You pick this up, Mouth of Sauron. Can I revive them? How expensive are they? Not expensive. I can revive them. Oh, don't die, please, man. Oh, my heroes are made of paper. You can hold ground stand so he doesn't die. Shagrat is not that squishy, though. Shagrat... He's fighting for a long time. Okay, we healed him. He was able to heal himself. That's pretty lit. Okay. That is my witch king when I need him. Okay, now we have to we find the power point. I think that's gonna change everything. Yeah. Witch king is here. Amazing. Hey man, okay, I it was my bad. When you give aggressive stance, they go always ham, you know? Um, need more resource buildings. Let's get now the Minas Mur Morgul in Gorgorov. We have money for it, so just why not? My Witch King is here. Um, okay, so basically, he has the chance Morgul Flail. Witch King toggles his deadly fla flail. Is this guy crippled? Oh, it looks like he's crippled, but he's actually not. Can you please not fight for a second? I want to see Witch King in action. Come back, man. Come on now. It's like his maze, right? He has splash damage with it. That's good. Um, the Black Captain. 
So basic level 1 more the infantry in large reduce gain 75% more damage, total fear and total knockback resistance. Level 5 trolls in medium reduce gain 15% more armor, troll fear and knockback resistance. Level 10 Nazgul in medium reduce gain more armor and damage. When Witch King is mounted on his fell beast, the reduce effect on his ability is doubled. Amazing. Screech. Oh, that's, that looks also pretty nice. Aura of Terror. Level 1. Enemy units in medium radius lose armor and damage and it skills with levels. Okay. If the Morgul Curse deals 100 magic damage to enemy heroes in medium radius, target enemy special ability timers are reset. So it's pretty much like a Aura of the Witch King. And last ability is Morgul Lord. <clears throat> um, the Witch King gains 1000 health, 75% magic damage, in 10% um, minus 10 percent recharge time. This is it's Denator. What can Denator do against it? <laughs> there, there is nothing he can do about this. Okay. Now we can also recruit the Black Riders. Okay. This actually is pretty interesting. I need to see. But I want to also build up the Troll Cage if I can. Oh boy, I didn't pay attention to this. There is one squad just killing my resource building just like that. That's annoying. Can you please defend this man? Don't let him destroy it. Look, this, these units next to him are from him. So when you have the vassals of the Dark Lord, it's it's like a passive thing. You can see it's like five orc pikemen protecting him. Uh, it's pretty detailed mod, man. I really need to be honest. And when you are switching the sword, you have also different abilities. For example, you can get mounted on your fell beast. Doubles the radius of your black captain and aura. So we have the screech, the Morgul bleed. And the Aura of the Witch King with level 10. The Witch King sends a shockwave that deals 100 fire damage and knock back enemy. The Witch King gains more magic damage and more magic resistance, deals fire damage to enemies and sets them on fire. Dude, how complex is this please? It's kind of crazy to say. What can I do now here? And not much actually. What, what does this one do? Okay, we don't need this to be honest with you. I'm gonna recruit the last remaining hero, the Black Rider. It's only, I mean, it's like limited to one heart. And we're also getting power points. It's amazing. Our heroes are big in the business. And I would like to build now the Troll Cage. And this stuff you can't build anywhere else besides around your fortress unless you build an outpost before this, okay? So we can build the outpost here, for example. Maybe right in the middle here. Use our heroes to attack. And the AI has also upgrades. To be honest, I'm playing super lazy and I'm also very disappointed in the brutal AI. Maybe we need to increase the number of our opponents to make it more challenging because this one, you know, feels like a walk in the park. 15 power points in the bank. We can now get the Legions of Rune. Summons Easterling army to fight for you. Okay, let's go for this one because I want to get the chance to summon the Hammer of the Underworld. And then we can all chant together, boys, you know. Grunt, grunt, grunt. I'm not gonna lose this. The soldiers of rune. Defend this. I think my witch king is just too tanky. The mother of is kinda <laughs> I don't know man, he's not dealing damage, you know, that's the problem. He's not dealing damage. Okay, so you can see now we can build troll kitsch here. I'm gonna show you, you see? Now we have like a new area. And I like this, to be honest. It gives you like a more strategic movement other than being able to build wherever you want to. You have, kind of like, you have like limitations until you spend money into an outpost. I mean, too many red animations going on. Too much fiesta. I don't know. It's hard for me to follow up. But AI is building towers now. You guys can maybe rotate the downside. My black riders, they need to be here. Yeah, they are here. Red Visage significantly reduces enemy armor and uh, damage. It's a passive thing. You can maybe rotate them from the bottom side. Because my heroes are able to clear this area, no problem. Okay. Troll Cage is building up. Amazing. And now we can also recruit... What is this? Brand of the Red Eye. Allow Orc units to be branded with the Red Eye emblem. When equipped, Orc units gain more experience and more health. Global upgrade. Let's do this. Let's recruit some black orcs. What is happening over here? Mm -hmm. 
the Black Riders. Look, they again keep ignoring everything and attack always my structures, man. Okay, I mean, he was not even able to do anything at the bottom side, which is kind of odd. Okay, let's get it to level 2. You can already recruit Pumba, sport unit, provide leadership. Let's recruit them. Money is not a problem at this point, as you can see and tell. Hold on, I want to send all my heroes to this location if I can. Because if you creep these uh, layers, they give you a whole level. They give you, they spawn this little, what is this called? Like in Beef Me One campaign in Moria mission. So like a little treasure, and when you pick it up, you get a whole level on your heroes, and we can give it maybe to a hero like this dude. You don't want to give it to a guy like this, who's almost level 7. So we can maybe get him level 7 over here. Go Witch King. Kill them, Witch King. Oh boy. The Spike men, they are so annoying. Let's get it to level 3. Witch King, do your thing. Come on, be level 7. I will show you guys. One more hit. Level 7. Now I will show you. You guys can fight this now. Here. 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 In Witch King. You can... Look. Watch this, boys. So we are level 7 now, right? Right? Watch this. We creep this. Two hits. No problem. And now this thing drops. Watch this. Watch our levels. Boom. A whole level. That's pretty lit, actually. Here we can recruit the Corsairs of Umbar. We also lost a building. Don't die. Where is... Heal him. Oh, we, we didn't heal him. Oh, boy. Don't die, my friend. I don't know. I even forgot what he's able to do. Really? Drummer troll. We need to revive our heroes. We lost two of them. We lost actually one of them. But we are about to lose the second one. These heroes, they are so squishy, you know? Grish knife. Witch King is so tanky, though. Witch King and also this dude. Like, Shagrat. I mean, Malfoy Sauron is chilling. You know, he's like keeping the distance. Gothmog is chilling, too. Gothmog, can you please party speed? It's a hero party. It's an absolute clown fiesta. Okay. Now we have the Black Orc Warriors, but they are getting bullied hardcore. Go there, my friend. Fight. We need... Where are our builders? I think we lost the builders. Can you guys please participate in fight? Where is Witch King? Witch King is fighting, okay? We have 20 power points. It's amazing. The trolls, pretty much like a normal mountain troll. Nothing crazy. But later on, we will also be able to recruit the Gorgorov Battle Trolls. But they cost each 3,690 resources. That's a lot of money for these Oryx. A lot of money, actually. Okay, I need more builders, to be honest with you. That's what I need. I'm going to recruit builders so I can expand also around the bottom side. If money, it's not a big problem for us. Mouth of Sauron is just chilling over here, you know. We have 22 power points. We need 26. For the chanting moment, you know, grunt, grunt, grunt. Don't, don't I? No, no, don't get mounted. Okay. Hold on. Don't, 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 don't overcommit, Witch King. Fire its will. What is this? Orc arches and Mogul arches in gain double range and more damage, okay? Then we have the form ranks. You make its form ranks. Orc spearmen and Morgul pikemen in large radius gain more armor and become highly resistant. This is too much information, dude. I think one video... Did I, lo did I lose my Gothmog? Oh, it's my Corsairs, okay? Who is this? My man is going crazy. I want to get him to level 10, though. I really want to get him to level 10. Just fight this. Just fight this. Keep fighting. I don't want to lose this, really. It's a very important structure for me. Okay, what we want to do here is I want to build another fortress. Right on this spot. Can you build it? Please? Can I click on it or not? Oh, boy. 
I can't. It's only limited to one. I I can't. Okay, we need to build the outpost in this case. What can we do? We can also build the siege vortex here. So you can build it even when this is not built up yet. Okay? It's also important information. It's level 3 now. I want to recruit these units. My heroes can keep fighting, maybe? Did they really capture this from me? That's rude. The Nazgûls are crying. They died. Because I wasn't paying attention, they died. Okay, we have 27 power points, boys. It's time for the ultimate chanting moment. Look at the picture when you summon it. It's lit also. Let's see how tanky this is. It's a biggie, boys. It's a big one. It's not permanent. We need to protect this troll cage level 3. It's very important. They're about to lose it. I don't want to lose it, really. It would be... It, it would annoy me so much, if I'm being honest with you. I would be so annoyed by it. Grunt, I want to see your damage. Okay, we didn't lose it. Can we repair this somehow, though? We can. Oh, son. Okay. With the power points we get. Not bad. Let's kill archer range. Destroy archer range, I mean. Okay. There is a farm. Did we lose our build to the farm level 3? I guess we did. Oh, boy. Okay. There is my grunt. It's here. It's tanky. I think 18,000 health. Grunt. 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 Let's destroy this. My heroes are popping off in the meantime. You fool. The outpost. Let's see how tanky the outpost is. Take this. One shot. One opportunity. Let's destroy this with rams. And we can also recruit the great beast later on. Okay. Hold on. I want to build towers though before anything else. Build the tower right here on the spot. Just to feel a bit more safe. I think the ground is going to be destroyed. Boys. I'm being honest. I think it's going down. We can only recruit three of these. They are limited. And that's how they are looking like. The Gorgorov Battle Troll. So you cannot choose this weapon. Dominate trolls. You can steal a troll. Let's see if it's also working on the on the troll lair at the bottom left side. We can find out. With level 2, we have the Roar ability. Unleashes a powerful Roar to scares and scares enemy units. And with level... Oh, it's level 3. So basically, we already have this one, right? Nah, okay. We need Mordor Forge level 3. This one. This is Mordor. It's not the Mordor Forge, actually. Um, We can build the Mordor Forge here, though. But first of all, let me build a tower here to protect this troll cage. And you can build Mordor Forge. This is going to be the Mordor Forge. So it kind of forces you to... Hold on, I don't want to fight. Can I not use this? I can. Fight for me, my friend. Okay, we stole it. But look, this troll is not able to attack his own structure. You see this? That's something we have to keep in mind also. My heroes are fighting all the time, but it's fine. It's actually not fine. Let's go to the spot. You guys can creep this. Look, he is like zero damage to this. What the heck? Okay, now. Right. But you see, when you right click, he attacks, but he's not able to reach it, which is kind of odd. Okay, we have 29 power points already. So we can now also un unlock this area. Okay, so the Eye of Sauron will lead us into the Colder Heart. This is Engineering of Mordor. The structure is invulnerable and to any damage for 5 seconds. Repairs damage. Oh, this is going to be important. And Darkness. I would like to go... Hold on. I want to see if it repairs. We don't even need to use it. We are already full HP. 
mini faction upgrades. I don't know. <gasps> no, 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 no. I wasn't paying attention. They cannot stop the armies of Mordor. Here we can recruit black orcs. Or black uruks, rather, right? Black uruks. Don't die, my friend. Don't die. Where, are, where is the healer? He missed the healing. I can't believe it. Run. Run, you fool. Guys, can you keep fighting? I'm gonna summon the Easterlings too. Let's use Tainted Land and War Chant. Grishnak. Run, my fool. Run, my friend. Look, he's zooming, though. This guy's extremely fast. Where's my Witch King? Witch King is level 10, by the way. We're gonna take a look later on in his abilities. Let's creep this. We creep this one as well. Okay, no, now, now it's becoming a bit more confusing. We lost more heroes, but it's well, it's whatever. You can revive them. Krishnak, you can chill. Witch King can keep fighting. Witch King is tanky boy. And also this guy is... Ex I'm, I'm proud of this guy. Let's summon the body kit. It's gonna be permanent, by the way. Permanent body kit. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Nice. Let's give fire arrows to this. And build more towers here. You can... Will he also level up? Yeah, any unit levels up. That's okay. Alright. We also built this one. Let's get it to level 3. Okay, so... Upgrade Orc Warriors, Archers and Spearmen. Like helmets, Orc Shields. We can buy everything that we want, really. Actually not. We are not that rich <laughs> all of a sudden. Okay, but we have enough power points for the barrage. And then we go for the Wrath of the Orods Ruin. Are they fighting? We are capturing this, that's good. Let's bring it all together and we can fight here maybe, right? Here we can fight. We need more eco. We need more eco. Let's build this. Get more eco. Get more eco. Okay, we are able to win this fight, no problem. We can also... How did they get in there, man? I don't, I don't get it. Where are those units coming from? It's so weird. Okay. We can group all the heroes around this spot. Are the heroes we, we lost back? Yeah, they are back. Let's give fire arrows. Build one more tower. Okay, they're coming from the middle, but our trolls are able to defend this, no problem. Now we can get this thing to level 3, which costs 1800, but allows Mordor plate armor, war maces, war hammers, and fire arrows upgrades. So it's important. It's like an armory, it's like a dedicated structure. For the armory of, of Mordor, which is new. It was not like this in BFM2 and not in Rise of the Witch King. I mean, does he actually have this one? I cannot destroy the inn, though. That's very interesting. I cannot destroy the inn. Buy rose purchase on this one. Is this Boromir? Yeah, it's Boromir. Hmm. We are kind of poor now at this point. Really, <laughs> we are really, really poor. But remember, we can repair this, no problem. There are some archers. I want to send these trolls also to the spot. Um, let's build one here. We can't even build it. Oh, limited to 10. Okay, I forgot. So you can't spam it. Mm. Okay. I want to find the ring if I can, but I don't know. Maybe I can pick up the Iosauron to scout the map. 
the ring has to be somewhere. I mean, Gollum has to be somewhere. He's hiding. Maybe here? No? Does he have the ring? No, right? No, he doesn't. Can we build more towers? It's not limited. We can build as many as we want. That's good. Guys, can you please attack? Would be amazing if you would attack. Is this a hero? No, it's not. This guy is summoning something on me all the time. Kinda confused. Uh oh. Engineering of Mordor. Bring the heroes to this location. Now you can't attack it anymore, my friend. Now you can't. We can summon almost the second one. Okay, and we get this to level 3. And this to level 3, it just takes a bit of time, but it's okay. Should be there very soon. You also go to this spot, my friend, and protect us, please. Unbelievable. How long these trolls need to kill a couple of archers. Okay. When we get it to level 3, it doesn't do anything. But it gives us more command points. It's better than nothing. And here, this is being also level 3 very soon. Money is looking all of a sudden again better. And this is back to full HP. That's even better. Okay, we want to fight around the towers though. That's important. Faramir is trying to show his quality. I think it's Faramir, right? Yeah, Faramir, do your thing. If you can. Just run away, troll. Okay, we have 30 power points. Okay. So, we have now enough for the wrath of the Orod Ruin. Mount Doom erupts, causing massive earthquake which destroys enemy units and buildings. Okay? So, what I want to do now... It's a passive thing. So, Witch King, I want to use this one. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's bring this all together to the spot. I want to get vision. Because we can also summon the Hammer of the Underworld for the second time very, very soon. Our towers are doing a good job. They are defending. And very soon we will also be able to recruit the Great Beast. Monster units, strong versus all units and buildings. Weak versus arches, magic and fire. Okay, and what? Can transport three battalions. Oh. Interesting. Kill the builder, yes. Okay, are you guys ready for the Wrath of the Orodruin? We need to have vision to use it, which we will be able to do right... Can I use it? Let's use it this way. Ooh. Run, Gothmog. Don't die. Dude, this ability is kind of crazy, but there's no damage also. We had, uh, we had like zero damage with it. Is this Gandalf? I think it was Gandalf. Okay. Now we can summon the the big one. It's time for Grunt, Grunt. One more time, boys. And I don't know where Gollum is hiding, but it would be so disappointing to not get the chance to see the ring hero. Or what the ring does with this faction. By the way, Witch King is popping off. Like, not even kidding. He's like legit popping off. I'm curious if this deals more damage to him. And to the building. So let's see. I mean, it's hard to test when Grunt is there and it will launch at everything anyway. Oh. What's going on? The white tree. I mean, Witch King, let's be honest, doesn't deal any damage to the buildings. Like, not even kidding. No damage at all. Now we will recruit the Great Beast. We need some more siege potential. Can you destroy this, please? Okay, we destroyed this. That's amazing. Can you attack? Can we attack the fortress even? I don't know. 
Oh, he has even an ability. It increases, decreases enemy armor by 20%. Oh, against Fortress, it's not that effective. Okay, now the question is, how can we kill this or destroy this Fortress? Then, <laughs> that's going to be a big question. Um, the thing is, you can't build a second Fortress. That's not possible. Look, when we are trying this, it's not going to work. We have 23 power points, so basically we have now almost everything what we needed, including Darkness. What does Darkness do? Um, all orc units gain more damage and speed. Only orcs, which is kind of disappointing. We have a lot of money. We can eventually get all of these upgrades. And then we are we have no more money at, at anymore. <laughs> okay, destroy the remaining farms. It's amazing. Where is my favorite hero? Favorite hero, don't I? Rest in peace, favorite hero. Let's call the Easterlings. Orcorn Tainted Land. It's like a debuff, okay. Oh man, they captured this again, really? Red Reed! Red Reed, you fools! Oh! It's like a Moomai kill, no? Okay, can you please go back? Oh, he's already back? How fast, actually? It's kind of crazy. Let's summon this one to block this area, protect this area. Kill him. Nice. Okay. So let's retreat for a bit. We are about to lose this area, though, unfortunately. Maybe we can recruit some units to defend this. Okay. So... We can even summon the second one. Does this thing even shoot? Yeah, it shoots. Now we have two of these. We are kind of poor though. And we still need to get this one for 1600. Again, the upgrading uh, time is quite... Quite bad. But we can now start making an army. What I want... Can I build anything else though? I want to check this one first. So we could... Hmm... Troll keys, you already know. A Morgul Stronghold. Requires Minas Morgul upgrade, trains Minas Morgul Orc soldiers and Orc pikemen. Okay. Let's try this out. There is no reason to not do. You can also repair this. You are not gonna attack my thing anymore, my friend. It's big, you know, you see, they are not able to attack this. And it's gonna repair itself to full HP, just like that, you know, in a second. Amazing. Okay, we are poor. Well, we need to find a solution to this. Are these units gonna be enough to deal damage, though? Let's find out. My heroes, where are they at? Witch King! Witch King, don't die, my friend. Can this dude heal you, Witch King? We'll find out. This was not the heal. This is the heal. Oh, it's healing him. Okay, nice. And okay, we can now push from this area. And our bees coming from the bottom. It's about sandwiching. These units are driving me crazy. Don't die, okay? Let's go for the buildings, please. Let's go for the W now. Because I don't think we can find Gollum anytime soon. Maybe he's hidden here? No. I have, like, seriously no clue where he might be, you know? I found Gollum. I found Gollum, boys. I heard that Gollum is somewhere here. Uh, there is Gollum. Never give up, never surrender, boys. Eye of Sauron sees you, Gollum. Because you have the one rank. You can't get away from us. 
In the meantime, this Mumbai kill is actually going crazy. One of them is level 7 already. Oil barrels. Are these like battle wagons? Mumu, uh, Farami has shown his quality. Oh, it's hitting like a truck. Can you throw this? Oil barrels? You can't. The pikes are slaughtering you, though. You got the ring. Okay, you know what it means. Bring the ring back to the fortress, please. Okay. Hold on. We can recruit this again. I really like them. They cost so much, but I think they are worth it. So now let's see what we can do with the one ring, boys, okay? Maybe we can get Sauron. Who knows? Okay. Ooh, fourth, third. Okay, hold on. We need to cancel these. Who needs them when we can recruit the Dark Lord himself? Can we get any way more money, though? Um, okay, I want to get Sauron so badly. <laughs> we need to we need to wait for Sauron to win this game, of course, you know. Troll, what is this? Keith troll. Oh, this is the one we stole. I remember, okay? Yeah, what? Hardened skin. Troll, cave troll gains, gains more armor and more bonus armor against Pierce and Splash. Okay. Okay, we can keep fighting now. Nice, we finally... Dude, Gollum was hidden around this spot for such a long time. Keep fighting, boys. This dude is the most useless dude I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> this is not very strong. Barrage. Can use it maybe here. I want to see how much damage. Uh, not much. It's a level 2 barracks. It, what? Deals like quarter. A bit more quart than quarter, which is kind of disappointing. But what's not going to be disappointing is going to be the Dark Lord Sauron himself. And he's going to be only level 1. That means you can level him up also to level 10. Which will, of course, take us some time to do that. Is he fast now? Oh, yeah. He's basically teleporting at this point. Legit teleporting. Why can't we destroy this, man? You can't destroy this or what? I don't, I don't get it. Okay, my heroes, they keep going. It's level 9, almost level 10. Okay, we get this one. Increase damage against heroes and structures by 35. Also increase the radius of damage. Okay, so get more. Krishna has fallen. I don't mind. We are also gonna fall, my friend. There is nothing I can do for you. But it's okay. Your Dark Lord is gonna be there very soon to save the day. Hold on, let's group here a little bit. We can maybe summon the barricade. Where are you? Boom, barricade. Can we upgrade this with, some, with something? Nope, we can't. Just protect this, please. Let's build this offensively too. Let's upgrade this. Make it more tanky. This actually is like a very low cooldown, by the way. Okay, we lost again the hero star. That's not very good. But what we can do is we can build here the outpost. And support this. Okay, we have almost the money for the Dark Lord, boys. Almost. Okay, come on. Please give it to me. We have all the upgrades too. Yes, we do. It just takes ages. Mordor plate armor upgrades Morgul units, Black Orcs, and Black Uruks. 
it will get more armor against slash, pierce, and stab damage. Plus 10% armor to blunt and chop. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but we will find out. Okay, we can summon this. Okay, just go ahead. I'm gonna give you aggressive stance, so you can do whatever you want. And, boys. Yeah, boy. Okay, it's about time. It's about power, it's about drive. It's, we stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's ours. It's gonna be, of course, Sauron, the Dark Lord. When these two heroes, Korbak, Korbak and Krishnak, they're not very tanky, I need to say. They are not very tanky boys, okay? Look at them go, these Easterlings are going crazy. I like that one. My catapult also goes crazy. Just keep attacking. Keep attacking. This one should be protected. We can be... I don't want to recruit. I want to get my heroes back first. Let's get my heroes back. Look, when you revive these heroes, you see the revive time. It's kind of crazy. Am I right or not? It's kind of crazy. And poor. They cost so much, the Black Uruks. They actually cost a lot. I mean, their weakness are uh, ranged infantry, in this case, the Rangers. We killed the Builder. Level 10. Amazing. How long do you need? Is this thing not shooting? It's shooting, but it's very slow. You think you got... Yeah, you got this, yeah. Disappointing, man. Can I upgrade you? Black Uruks? Or oh, they insta get upgrades instantly when they come out. Oh, that's pretty good then. But even in late game, we have such a big money struggle. Can I get this one again? Nope, I can't. All right. Um, level 8. Shagrat gains 25% more damage. With each strike, Shagrat leaves up open wounds on his on the enemy, making them bleed for 10 seconds. If nearby orc units smell the wounded target, they gain... F oh, but what a complex ability, man. It's really crazy, you know, what they have done. And I, I heard, by the way, which is the most impressive part. By the way, this is such a long video, by the way. I'm sorry, it's an hour video, but it's... I don't know, I'm losing myself here. I'm losing myself here. By the way, guys, I heard that there's only one person who made this. Only one single person. For the entire mod. For the entire Battle of the Third Each. Only one person made this. That's kind of impressive, not gonna lie. It's very impressive. Bring the reinforcements. Come on, Sauron. We are all waiting for you to finish off the game. All of us are just waiting for your approach. All of us, legit here, waiting so you can show up. Come on. Sauron, the Dark Lord. Uruks. They destroyed my catapult. We will pay for this. We will get two more catapults for this. Go, Grishnak. Do your thing. Oh, you're level 10. Let's see. I want to see this. For level 10? Really? Really? I mean, that's a little bit disappointing. Um, We can almost... This is also like a very long long cool on the body kit. For a level 10, it feels... Okay, boy. So, there we go. Okay, so... <laughs> ladies and gentlemen... Say hello to the Dark Lord Sauron, the true Lord of the Rings, okay? Level 1, he is going to be, of course, the Lord of Mordor. Allied heroes near Saruman ga Sauron gain more damage and less recharge time. Allied units near Sauron gain double damage and experience. It's passive, okay? With level 1, we have the Void. Sauron creates a Void on the battlefield. I'm gonna lose my heroes in the meantime. Don't, 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 don't. Run. If you can survive this, I will be proud of you. Cold ground stance. Cold ground stance. Where are you, my friend? Let's heal him up a little bit. I, I missed it. But it's fine. 
Okay. Sauron is coming, but he's slow. So, Sauron creates voids on the battlefield. All enemy units, all enemies and allies except Nazgûl lose speed. Nazgûl gain more speed and more damage. And then we have also the Fury with level 1 for, like, the, of course, the Screech, the, the, the Scare. Necromancy with level 3. Sauron drains health from enemies and heals ally, allies. Enemy who dies from the spell will become raped. Okay? And we have the Geese of Sauron. Sauron pins enemy heroes in place. Hero cannot be attacked and cannot move for 3 minutes and will lose health. 3 minutes! <laughs> Fires of Doom cause down a hail of molten rock. Okay, but first of all, let's see how tanky he is. He has 20,000 HP and 3,000 melee damage. I mean, that is like very, very self-explaining, I believe, how tanky he's going to be, right? I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be quite tanky. But it's more about how hard he will get the chance to hit. Where are you going, my friend? Where are you even going? Where is Sauron at? Okay, the thing is, he's attacking in slow motion speed, but he levels up like crazy. I want to see the void. The raid boss has arrived, boys. It's literally shaking. And don't worry, it's not an earthquake. Oh, boy. It's game over for you now, buddy. It's game over for you now, buddy. This is cool, man. Let's go for this. Why can I not summon this? Oh, son. I don't know, man. You guys let me know what you think about this mod in the comment section down below. As always, I will leave a link in the description for everybody who wants to download this. But please make sure that your BFME 2 is on the patch 1.06. And your Rise of the Witch King is on the patch 2.01. These are the requirements for you to play this mod. This is not a mod based on 2.02. It, it requires the installation and the proper installation of the patch 2.01. The base game of Rise of the Witch King. And you need to make sure that this is the case. Otherwise, you won't get the chance to play this. This has to be, I think, the most holy moly mod I've played. Like, crazy stuff is happening. I didn't pay attention to multiple things. We lost like 4 heroes. But it's worth it. Sauron, the Dark Lord, has been popping off hardcore. Let's bring the catapults also. Help, help the wolf's head. Also called the hammer of the underworld. Sauron is watching, just like in the films, how the good race, unlike in the films, falls. Okay? Shagrat has returned. Grunt, 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 grunt. And even his damage against Fortress is so crazy. It, he hits legit harder. Then Grunt hits. That's how powerful this Dark Lord is. The only thing, the only weakness is he attacks in slow motion, but that's absolutely fine. I would love to get him to level 10 though. Look, this is Denitor. Okay, guys, boys, it's gonna be Denitor. Yeah, Denitor, you better fly away, my friend. Denitor, you are not we are not done yet. Denitor, we are, we are not done yet. Round two. He healed him? The AI healed him. There is no way, right? There's no way he, the AI healed him. Sauron, do it. I want to get level 10 so badly. There is literally nothing I can kill anymore. Is he building the fortress again? No, that's not the fortress. I want to get him to level 10. I want to... We need to, guys. We got to this point. Be a bit more patient. We want to see the fires of doom, don't we? And he's gonna be level 10 after destroying this, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, boy. Okay. Alright. Let's summon it like this. I think it's pretty much Torino Fire. 
from normal Rise of Twitch King. Yeah, it has the same animation. Uh, yep, 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 yep. I mean, his beast damage is scary, okay? So I want you to understand, okay? This guy is crazy strong. The Witch King has a melee damage, beast damage, 417, okay? So, hold on. Can I get Fell Beasted? Yeah. Go on the Fell Beast, my friend. Where are you even? Okay. So, let's see his damage, okay? Let's see his damage. You see, this is the damage from the, from the Witch King. Right? Don't attack Witch King. He's, by the way, really, really big, man. Holy moly. Watch this. Sweat Sauron now. Yeah, that's like at least four times the damage compared to Witch King. Witch King also dealing lots of damage, of course. But keep in mind that he cost 7,000 something. And he's now level 10 also, right? But Sauron, like, watch this. He has health 13,000, almost 14,000. And you, we have not lost him a single time during the entire game. We have lost the weak heroes like Grishnak and, of course, the... Back, but they have not lost Witch King. How are you gonna lose this dude with 20,800 HP? How is it gonna be even the case, you know? It's just to tank you. Look his damage. Boom. Like he's basically like an atomic bomb hitting like a truck. We go for the W boys. We go for the victory. And all we gotta do is destroy this barracks into archer range right after. And I think that's the only building that keeps him alive. He's trying to build more stuff here. But we won't allow him to do that. The outpost is falling down. And Dark Lord Sauron does something what he couldn't do in the films. And goes for the victory. Not yet though. Not yet. Not yet. There has to be somewhere else like a production building. If I'm not mistaken, the only requirement is to destroy every um, structure that is a uh, that is production building. We can recruit. We don't have the Black Riders. We have them somewhere. I don't know where they are actually. Are they coming? Yeah, they are here. Okay. Maybe we need to destroy the outpost here, by the way. Maybe, maybe that's the thing, yeah. Okay, the Brutal has been defeated. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit disappointed in the Brutal. I like the Victorious screen, though. The Mordor is victorious. It was a hella long game. But not even now, we discovered everything about this faction. It's only one faction. With plenty of different factions. One, I think that's the longest video I've done for a mod. And that has to be seen, you know, it has to mean something. Okay, we took a look into the Gondor. And we also took now a look into the Mordor. And you guys choose which faction is going to be the choice for the next video. Again, we are switching between good and evil. So we took a good one, an evil one. Next one has to be also good. If Erebor, Lothlorien... You guys choose. You guys choose, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you watched until the end, which I really, really hope. <laughs> because I think it's quite fun. And when you play it yourself, it's going to be even more fun. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay beyond standards. Peace out.